Well, what a magnificent start to this evening's concert by Yeovil Town Band. And now we come to the Somerset Rhapsody by Gustav Holtz. The Rhapsody is based upon some Somerset folk songs which were collected by Cecil Sharp. There are three particular songs in this Rhapsody. The first one is the Sheep Shearers song. It's a, a long pastoral melody played by the tenor horn. My name's John Warry, I play tenor horn. I've played piovo for uh, about five years now. Previous bands, Glastonbury, Sherborne and Crewcarn. I started my days at Stoke many years ago, 32 years ago. My name's Mark Gundry, I play soprano. I've um, been yeovil for about two or three years on and off now. Um, Glastonbury many 20 years before then. For me, it's pretty unpredictable. I practice a lot, but 50-50 uh, on the day. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be okay tonight. Starts off, I got a very quiet beginning, which isn't the ideal start, and I'm muted as well. I'm ghosting the front row cornets, so the tuning is all important there, um, which just adds to the problems. And then later on, I got a very high, high part, which is a bit of squealing around up top. Um, again, might might go all right on the night, <laughs> it might not. And then at the end, quiet, slow again, but a bit high, so uh, problems all round really. My name is Richard Ashburn. I play first baritone. Been in Yeovil about four years. I've been banding 25 years now. Used to playing glass in Brie, Corsham and Froom. Uh, my name's Justin Pavey. I play solo trombone with Yeovil. Um, I've played with them for about three years now. Um, before that, I played with Chard, started my days there. Uh, the baritone is, is one of the uh, instruments in the band that doesn't carry an awful lot of solos. It's uh, the middle part of the band, so it's, a lot of the warmth comes from that section, the both baritone section and the horn section. So there's not many soloistic features in this particular piece, which I'm rather glad about. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I haven't got too much to do at the beginning, luckily, in this piece, but um, as, it, as it develops uh, near the end, I've obviously got quite a long solo. And then obviously I finished the whole thing as well, which is quite a nervy thing <laughs> right at the end. Um, hopefully it'll be all right on the night, and uh, so hopefully I'll keep that G in tune right at the end. <laughs> I think it's a lovely, haunting melody, to be honest, and if I get it right, it should sound OK in the cathedral tonight. So here is Holtz, Somerset Rhapsody.
I'm delighted to be able to tell you that in the audience tonight we have the person that wrote that arrangement of the Somerset Rhapsody. He's sitting in the front row and I'd like him please to come forward. John O'Hara. My name is um, Kate, I play tenor horn. I originally came from Somerset, but I live in Bristol now. My name's Anne, I play flugelhorn, and I originally come from Dorset, and I've just transferred over to Yeovil. It's, sometimes it's quite hard, because if you've got a real nice slow solo going on, and it's very quiet, and you're trying to give them um, a ledge to, to play on, mm. and, uh, and if they're very, playing very quiet, sometimes you sit there and think, you know, we're not going to come in. But, uh, yeah. I think it's more tuning-wise. It's not technically, well, certainly my part's not technically a difficult part to play. It's more the tuning and getting the balance right. Getting, like Anne says, if you're playing underneath the soloist, getting the balance, that's where the difficulty comes, mm, yeah. Yeah. on our part, anyway. Yeah. There's still quite a few people, isn't there, who believe that yeah. um, it is a man's world and, you know, <laughs> there's quite a few of the northern bands. I mean, They don't like women at all, do they? <laughs> <laughs> this band's very liberal and like each their own. I think it turns into you can play the part, you can play it better than any other person. It's not whether you're male or female, it's who can play the part and that's what counts at the end of the day. I think we give back as good as they give us really. If they give us some stick we'll give it back to them. They are now going to enjoy themselves as I hope that you will enjoy a rousing rendition of an ego spiritual Joshua fought the battle of Jericho.
Steve was described in the musical press recently as the most revolutionary tuba player the brass band world has ever known. I began playing in the colliery bands in Yorkshire. Well, I joined the Grimethorpe Colliery Band, and uh, with Grimethorpe did lots and lots of touring, uh, lots of avant-garde music. And he, in fact, won the Granada TV Soloist of the Year. On, on concerts, um, they, they normally would ask me to play lots of sort of virtuoso pieces to show exactly what the instrument can do. And um, you know, lots of sort of outlandish things like super high notes, super low notes, lots of fast playing. But the thing that I really enjoy doing is playing something very simple, slow melody, tunes, something like that's what's in the Rhapsody. And the piece he's going to play for us tonight was written especially for him by a Lancastrian composer, Daryl Barry. Uh, to take the baton, though, for this particular piece, I'd like to welcome Kevin Darby. And so to hear this wonderful man, Steve Sykes, get some magic out of his tuba, impromptu for tuba, Steve Sykes. Thank you. 
Well, I'm Colin Howe and I play Prince of Euphonium. I've been in the band for about a year. Um, they were short of a euphonium player and I just uh, happened to help them out one day. And um, I'd actually retired from playing. And uh, somebody said it was a position going, so I took it and I've been in ever since. Uh, my name's Alan Griffiths. I'm on principal corner at the moment. Uh, I've been there for about two years now and uh, we seem to be doing really well. So have you played I've never before? played here, no. I've actually done a concert here once before and I knew what to expect to a certain degree when yeah. the echo it, and the It's a massive the acoustic time lag. and you've got, yeah, you've got a time lag when you play so you've got to put, put up with that, you've got to get used to actually following the conductor and ignoring the time lag which uh, is always a problem. Steve thought it would be a rather good idea if it had a vocal element. That's how I came in. He asked me if I'd come along and sing a song typically Somerset, and so here it is, up from Somerset. <laughs> Come up from Somerset to see the great review. There was Mary dressed in her Sunday best and our boy Billy too. The drums were rolling, rub it up, the trumpets tootle too. When right up rode his majesty and said, I know me you. Up from Somerset, where the cider apples grow, we've come to see your majesty, and how the world do go. And if you're wanting anyone, and will kindly let us know, then it just send word to Somerset, and we'll all be up for you. Then the queen 
she looked at Mary, and what's your name, she said. And Mary blushed like any rose and hung her pretty head. So I ups and nudges Mary, speak up and tell her do. So she said, if you please, your majesty, my name is Mary too. Up from Somerset, where the cider raffles grow, where the girls can hem and sew and stitch, and also reap and hoe. And if you're wanting any gals, I'm kindly let us know. Then just send word to Somerset, and we'll all be up for you. down at Billy Boy before he rode away. And what is he going for to be, his majesty did say. And Billy tugged his forelock and stood up trim and true. Oh, I'm going to be a soldier, sir. Oh, I want to fight for you. From Somerset, where the cider apples grow, we mock King's men in Somerset as they were long, long ago. And if you're wanting soldier boys and there's fighting for to do, then just send word to Somerset, and we'll all be up for you. When we get a, a piece, we, we look and see what's involved, um, wh which particular parts of percussion we need to play and who would be best suited to play that particular part. Different ones of us are actually better on different um, instruments, but what we try to do is we try to let everybody have a go at everything, because if, if you just say, right, you play timps, you play xylophone, you play kit, you become very uh, constricted into what you can do. So if everybody can play everything, you've got a lot more versatility. So at the moment, Sophie, who is, you're a, is it a flute player? I'm a flute player. She's, she's just learning <laughs> percussion. <fake. laughs> it's exciting, I, or I find it exciting. When you, you get into it, the band's playing a very good standard of music at the moment. And um, it does, it does you, you become part of the music. The concert ends with Jerusalem. Typically English song. It's a setting of William Blake's poem by Hubert Parry. The connection with Somerset, well, Parry actually spent a number of years in Somerset, and I think that maybe the words of Jerusalem, some of them are very appropriate to Somerset. And did those feet in ancient time walk upon mountains green? Green and pleasant land describes Somerset, doesn't it? So here we are, Jerusalem.